Synopsis of the Books of the Bible Major Prophets Ezekiel By J. N. Arby Chapters 26-28 Tyre judged as representing the world and its riches. Although in a certain sense upon Israel's territory, Tyre has another character, and is the subject of a separate prophecy, Ezekiel 26-28, because it represents the world and its riches, in contrast with Israel as the people of God, and rejoices, not like the others from personal hatred, but because, having opposite interests, the destruction of that which restrained its career gave free course to its natural selfishness. It is worthy of remarking these prophecies, how God lays open all the thoughts of man with respect to his people and that which they have been towards him. Tyre's ill will to God's people and city judged. In Ezekiel 27, Tyre is judged for its ill will to the people and the city of God. It is overthrown as a worldly system, and all that formed its glory disappears before the breath of Jehovah. The prince and king of Tyre judged for their pride. In Ezekiel 28 it is the prince and the king of Tyre that are judged for their pride. Verses 1 to 10 set before us the prince of this world's glory as a man, exalting himself and seeking to present himself as a god, having acquired riches and glory by his wisdom. Verses 11 to 19, while continuing to speak of Tyre, go, I think, much farther, and disclose, though darkly, the fall and the ways of Satan, become through our sin the prince and god of this world. The prince of Tyre represents Tyre and the spirit of Tyre. The verses which follow, 11 to 19, are much more personal. I do not doubt that, historically, Tyre itself is referred to, verses 16 to 19 prove it. But, I repeat, the mind of the spirit goes much farther. The world and its kings are presented as the garden of Jehovah on account of the advantages they enjoy. The outward government of God is in question, which till then had recognized the different nations around Israel. This, however, applies more especially to Tyre, which was situated in the territory of Israel, in Emmanuel's land, and which, in the person of Hiram, had been allied with Solomon, and had even helped to build the temple. Its skilt was proportionate. It is the world in relation with God, and if the Prince of Tyre represents this state of things as being the world, and a world that has been highly exalted in its capabilities by this position, an exaltation of which it boasts in deifying itself, the king represents the position itself in which, under this aspect, the world has been placed, and the forsaking of which gives it the character of apostasy. It is this character which gives occasion for the declaration of the enemy's apostasy contained in these verses. He had been where the plants of God flourished, see note, he had been covered with precious stones, that is to say, with all the variety of beauty and perfection, in which the light of God is reflected and transformed when manifested in, and with respect to, creation. Here the varied reflection of these perfections had been in the creature, a creature was the means of their manifestation. It was not light, properly so called. God is light. Christ is the light here below, and so far as he lives in us, we are light in him. It was the effect of light acting in the creature, like a sunbeam in a prism. It is a development of its beauty, which is not its essential perfection, but which proceeds from it. Note. We may see, Ezekiel 31 verses 8, 9 and 16, that this is a description of the kings of the earth at least before Nebuchadnezzar, who first substituted one sole dominion given by God, for the many kings of the nations recognized by God as the result of Babel, and in the center of which his people were placed, to make the government of God known through their means. The special relation of Tyre with Israel added something to the position of the merchant city, and gave room also for the use made here of the history of its king as a type or figure of the prince of this world, end of note. The characteristics of the king of Tyre his fall. The following are the features of the king of Tyre's character, or that of the enemy of God, the prince of this world. He is the anointed cherub. He is covered with precious stones. He has been in Eden the paradise of God, upon the mountain of God, he walked in the midst of the stones of fire, he was perfect in his ways until iniquity was found in him. He is cast out of the mountain of God on account of his iniquities his heart was lifted up because of his beauty, and he corrupted himself. Father, we find that which, as to the creature, is most exalted, he acts in the judicial government of God according to the intelligence of God, this is the character of the anointed cherub. 
he is clothed with the moral beauty that variously reflects the character of God as light. See note. He is recognized among the plants of God, in which God displayed his wisdom and his power in creation, according to his good pleasure, as creator. He had been there also where the authority of God was exercised, on the mountain of God. He walked where the moral perfections of God were displayed in their glory, a glory before which evil could not stand, the stones of fire. His ways had been perfect. But all these advantages were the occasion of his fall and characterized it. For the privileges, we enjoy always characterize our fall. Whence have we fallen? Is the question, for it is the having failed there, when we possessed it, that degrades our condition. Moreover, it is not an outward temptation, as in man's case, a circumstance which did not indeed take away man's guilt, but which modified its character. Thy heart was lifted up because of thy beauty. He exalted himself against God, and he was cast out as profane from the mountain of God. His spirit, independent in security, was humbled when he was cast to the ground. His nakedness is manifested to all, his folly shall, in the end, be apparent to all. Note. Observe that this takes place in the creature. In the case of Aaron, the type of Christ as priest, it exists in the absolute perfection of grace, which presents us to God according to his perfection in the light. It is afterwards seen in the glory as the foundation of the city, the bride, the Lamb's wife, in the revelation. That is, these stones present the fruit of perfect light, what God is in his nature shining in and through the creature, in creation, grace, and glory, end of note. The judgment of Sidon, Israel's safety. The judgment of Sidon is added. And then, all hope having been taken from Israel, when the judgment of the nations is accomplished, God gathers them and causes them to dwell in their land in peace forever.